In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use audit logs in Copilot Studio. That's right, guys, I'm back with some more videos. Build offered up a whole new set of features inside of Copilot Studio, and we're gonna to start today with audit logs. So audit logs are basically the ability for you to be able to go in and see everything that was going on within your Copilot Studio implementation and be able to figure out who did what and when they did it and being able to find all of that information and being able to even take that and be able to report off of it. So let's dive a little deeper into audit logs. So a quick little sneak peek at some stuff that you're gonna see in some future videos is the fact that there is a new UX for Copilot Studio. So when we get into audit logs, what I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of is oddly enough, you're not actually going to go into Copilot Studio to be able to do this. However, what I did want to point out is that as we're moving around inside of this, I wanted you to kind of see that I have been busy creating a couple little samples and things like that uh, for future videos. So you're going to be able to see the audit trail on those different videos and all those different things as part of what we're going to go look at today. So with that, let's start looking at the actual documentation because I always like to show you guys where the documentation is for this stuff. Uh, a lot of you think I am brilliant and come up with all this stuff, but actually I just have to read through the documentation like most of you and then be able to go decipher it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down in here just so that you can see that you'll see that there is a compliance portal that you're going to need to be able to go to to be able to look at the audit trail or the audit logs. Um, and what I want you to see is it gives you information about where to go see those, but where I wanted to focus more of the conversation right now is on the audited events. And you'll notice here that there's a lot of different events that are audited inside of Copilot Studio. You can see all of them listed here. The next thing that you're gonna see is the different fields of information that are also going to get collected. So everything from uh, the date and IDs and organization IDs as, as well as if we go down to uh, additional pieces of information for Copilot Studio, you'll get all of this information as well. So if you needed to know the schema name or um, th things of this nature or the component ID that was uh, being addressed, all of this stuff is gonna get collected and I'll put a link um, in the video for you to this particular set of documentation. And I'll also put at the bottom of the screen right here, I'll put the actual URL for those that uh, want the, just to see the URL itself. So with that, let's jump into the actual compliance portal. So the URL for you to be able to get to the compliance portal, I know it says Microsoft Purview here, but the actual URL is compliance.microsoft.com and you'll see it right here at the top. So now once you're in this particular URL, it, you'll be inside this whole compliance manager interface. What we would be looking to do is go down to audit. And once we get into audit, what you're gonna see is that you can come in and you can give yourself some dates and times and things like that so that you can go run an audit. Um, you can also look in, like filter out based upon all these different things for your query. But just in general, the main thing that you wanna think about is going to be like the different friendly names that are available here for you to be able to search. And notice that what you can do in here is that you can type Copilot and you'll see Power Platform Copilot Bot Management Operations and you'll see all of these different things that it can collect information on that's inside of this. So just be aware that these are all kinds of different things that you can filter on. And what I'm gonna do is basically if you wanted to collect this, you set the filters you want, then you can come in and you can hit search uh, one, one thing that you might want to look for is if you're looking for keywords or you want to give the search a name, we could just call it test search. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it pull all the logs for the last 24 hours here. And we'll just hit search 
And what will happen when you do this is it will actually create a new search down here for you. And you'll see that it's queued and it will take some time for this to be able to run and it'll give you some uh, results and information coming back here. You can see who uh, performed the search and all of these different things. But let's just go into this one that's been completed and just take a look at it. And you'll see here that I did this one from the 19th of May to the 31st, which was uh, yesterday. And you can see I've got tons and tons of log information in here. And what I wanna show you is that you can come in here and you can filter it. And one of the things you can filter it on the IP address or the user you're looking for. And so while we can optimize that as part of the search itself, uh, whenever we create the search, if you wanna run the audit trail and you just wanna get all of the logs and then you wanna filter them afterwards, you can totally go do that. As a matter of fact, one of the things we can do is we can come in and do our copilot again, uh, just like we did before. And I can just say, show me all the created and the deleted activities that happened. And you'll see it pulled in this, this filter. And you can see now that there are different things that have happened. So you can see that I created a copilot and you can even see the name. You can see it here, the Microsoft Stores Assistant. You guys saw that in the screen when I showed you the Copilot Studio. And there's a whole bunch of information. You can see who actually did this and everything. So it's really, really informative. Just the same as I can also see here is a deleted Copilot where I was cleaning up my test environment, um, preparing for some new cool videos for you guys. And you can see here that you know I was deleting out Copilot 1, which was just a test copilot that I had built. Uh, and again, you can see that it was me that did it right here and such. And the other thing is you've even got the unique identifier of the user, you've got the identifier, you've got the action. So all of this stuff is super, super powerful. And it's amazing that all of this is now available for you and the beauty of it is not only that you can even export this out so if you want to take your audit logs and then take your audit logs to some sort of power bi dashboard or something of that nature you can totally go do it well i hope this was super informative for you today and please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel for more copilot studio videos as well as if you want to try Copilot Studio, you can go try it out at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.